Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Black Series review. Reviews that have come before mine have shown that it is probably one of a lot of people's favorites. Um, it's the Jetta Patrol Stormtrooper from Rogue One. And that nice sort of teal sort of coloring looks great. You know, we all love this Stormtrooper figure. It's definitely one of the best they've done. Um, but yeah, this one just looks killer. I'm really looking forward to opening this one up. And we will do that very, very momentarily. Um, yeah, some of the toy photography I've been seeing through Star Wars The Black Series on Instagram. Uh, some people are coming up with some amazing shots of this guy. Um, I'd love to try and get a second one. Big thanks to Goodies Toys for hooking me up. I really appreciate that, mate. This is uh, this one is killer. I'm looking forward to it. So uh, I've shown you the box enough. Let's crack it open. All right, here it is out of the packaging, and just this is just so so cool. Like already, we already love the stormtroopers and stuff. So this is no surprise to anyone. But um, yeah, there's just something about this that they've just really done well. Whether it's the pauldron, which I'm sure is just a reuse of the old stormtrooper. Um, but what they've done with the helmet, which is different to the other Stormtroopers, is if you get in the right light, some of those lenses, some of the lenses on the eyes have got the, just the smallest little tinge of green on them. Which, you know, is very accurate to the original Stormtrooper helmets. You just got to get that light right. But it's such a slight tinge that, you know, it's easily missed. Um, and also the, the grill on the mouth sort of speak a bit. It's just something about that that just really, really pops. And all the ridges for the for the blue lines on the side, they're all sculpted into the helmet. Pretty sure they were on the most recent one too, but um, Rogue One was the film that actually started doing that properly. Um, whereas in the original trilogy, they were literally just painted on because it was a lot of uh, cost involved in sculpting. So when they did Rogue One, they thought, well, let's put a little bit extra money into sculpting some new Stormtrooper helmets and actually do them practically, which is just a genius move in my opinion. Um, same up here, there's a nice little deco on the back. But yeah, we have seen this Stormtrooper before, basically. Um, just a few little paint updates there, which is really nice. So I'm just gonna have him standing there for the moment. Stay at your post. So here we have this rifle with him, which is nice. We have his sort of, his carried gear, which is really, really cool. I'm gonna work on getting that on very momentarily. And then the aerial for the backpack which we'll plug in there, but I'll wait till I finish playing around it and getting it on the figure first before I do that, because I don't want to risk uh, damaging it. So yeah, we're going to go with one arm, and then just pivot the other one back. Articulation in these is pretty good, so it's not that difficult to do. So I do need to review the images and see if it's meant to go over the pauldron. I think that's how it wants to fit, but whether I can get it underneath, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that's going to be where it sits. I think that looks fine. Yeah. I'm going to double check. Where's the box? What did I do with the box? Okay, it's kind of hard to see. Maybe it does go under. I'll, I'll work that out afterwards. But for now, it's just gonna stay on there, which is cool. And then, yeah, the antenna pop in the top there. And then the blaster rifle. It's really awkward from behind a camera. <laughs> and there we have it. One of the coolest looking Stormtroopers to date, in my opinion. That is really, really nice. I'm liking it a lot. Love the sculpt on the backpack. I think that's really good. Cool, some of the buckles and stuff were painted up, but that's okay. 
Nice work, Hasbro. Thank you for this awesome, awesome addition to the Rogue One line. It's absolutely beautiful. Just a stunning, stunning action figure. I really, really like it a lot. And I hope you did too, if you're watching. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. That was that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, please subscribe if you haven't already. But uh, I'll be back with some more reviews very, very soon. I've already got some more figures on the way. So yeah, absolutely hanging for some new Star Wars stuff to start rolling in. It feels like it's been a little bit slow of late, but we'll get there. We'll get there indeed. So thank you very much for watching. Until the next video, may the force be with you, always.